aren't the only intelligent species on Earth. Ants work in teams to perform intricate tasks. Chimpanzees use sticks and stones as innovative tools. And dolphins communicate by emitting complex clicks that form a unique language. But there's one thing about the intelligence of people that sets us apart from every other species. It's our ability to learn new things and to pass on that learning to each new generation. Ants can learn too, but their learning is very limited. They perform their tasks by instinct and they don't pass on new knowledge to new generations. The standard of living of the average ant hasn't changed at all. People, on the other hand, have made huge strides. But our knowledge isn't passed on in the genes. It's up to new generations to gain their knowledge afresh. If they don't, then the line of centuries of knowledge is broken and we are all undone. Back with the ants. The only way we know how to gain knowledge is to learn. And once we've learned how to learn, there are no limits to our potential. But learning doesn't only have to take place in the classroom. Today, more learning is taking place at work than all schools and colleges put together. There's a quiet revolution occurring in the workplace, and it's all come about through the discovery of people power. We are certainly talking about a total radical change of the nature of work, how people are managed. People, when they went to work, were asked to hang up their brains when they hung up their hats. We now live in an economy in which we've had to turn that round very quickly. I don't know any companies that are using more than 50% of the capability of their people. So we have an enormous room for improvement. All this is new thinking. It's the realisation that people, you and I, are the most valuable resource. And that through continuous learning and training, it's a resource that can be constantly improved, far more than we ever imagined was possible. If you're prepared to train, if you're prepared to work hard, you can achieve what you want to achieve. It doesn't matter where you started, it's where you want to go that matters. Lifetime learning is absolutely essential. Because people now know they don't have jobs for life and they don't have jobs for life anymore. When I'm training for a sport, I set myself a goal, I find someone who is more experienced than I to assist me and help me plan my programs, and then I practice relentlessly. And those are the same principles for anything you want to do. And today, it's the organisations that recognise the value of people power that are amongst the world's most successful. But do people at work really want to take on training? My own experience is that uh, workers are actually hungry for training and hungry to be given their chance and hungry for more influence over the, uh, the jobs that they do. A special national standard is now ensuring that many employees are being given the opportunity to participate in further training at work. Investors in People is an award that organisations can achieve by demonstrating two things. Firstly, that the organisation has a plan or vision that's shared with every employee. And secondly, that all the employees every single one of them, are given the training opportunities that will help make that plan come true. Thousands of organisations and their employees are discovering huge benefits from becoming investors in people. By achieving the Investor in People Award, it allows us to demonstrate to the outside world our commitment to the training and development of our staff. That means that we meet regularly with our employees, we discuss with them their ambitions and their aspirations, and through a training development plan we help them achieve this. I left school at 17 with no qualifications and joined WH Smith, and through the training I've been given, I'm now a manager and a trainer here at Sheffield Branch. I feel I've come a long way with WH Smith, but I couldn't have done it if the company hadn't given me the confidence and the skills to be able to carry it out. I enjoy coming to work in the morning, and I hope now maybe they're getting back with interest what they've invested in me over the years. The biggest single improvement you can make in a company's business performance is actually to get your people working more effectively. They, they don't need to work harder, they need to work better. And that's all about knowledge and training and development of people. And that's what investors in people is about. 
Well, investing in people is a long-term commitment to the training and development of all our employees through the entirety of their working lives. I left school at 16 with just O levels and then I came to work at Baxi. Through the company's help, I went on to achieve A-level maths and I am currently training to be a management accountant. There's no way I could imagine making such progress if I hadn't worked with such a people-orientated company. I had no qualifications. I would have finished up in a dead-end job. But I got a job with Baxi, and Baxi believed in me and trained me. So much so that when visitors come to visit Baxi, Baxi asked me to show them round. I could have never done this if Baxi hadn't invested in me. More involvement, an atmosphere of fun, people will want to come to work, people will want to contribute added value to the product or service. We decided to invest in the people. There are lots of opportunities within the business, a lot of good staff working here. And for identifying the training needs, making sure they're given the opportunities to have that training, sharing the information about where the company is trying to go, getting their views on where we should go, and just sharing all the information, just basic communication. Everybody's involved in what goes on here now. Um, we have regular meetings with various different people. Um, there's much more of a team spirit here, and people are involved in, in the running of the business. I like it, it's much better. It's a much happier place to work in now. Everybody's allowed to make decisions, to come up with suggestions. I feel happier in myself. In fact, I enjoy coming to work now. You only get out of a business what you invest in it. And we believe investing in people, we get far more out of than we put in. I started off as a chain boy, which is just knocking pegs in with the engineers. And if I'd have been with another company, I probably wouldn't have got any further than digging trenches. But here at Galliford's, I've had some real opportunities in training. So now in my 20s, I'm a section foreman. So I would say that Galliford's investment in me has paid off for the both of us. From the worker point of view, if a company's going for investors in people, I think you can think that they're going to be rather better managers than they were before. They're going to take a bigger interest in you, your skills, what you're supposed to be doing, and your future. An employee who's lucky enough to be involved with a company who is going for an investors in people mark is lucky. They're lucky because in that company there's going to be in place a training program that's going to develop the potential of each and every member of that staff. I say they're lucky and the first thing they should do is put their name on the list. So my message to workers is press for it, press that it's done properly and if it is being done properly ensure it keeps getting done properly and that you get your fair share of what is a very exciting venture, investors in people. But what does the future hold if we don't make the best use of our best resource? Us, our people power. If we don't succeed in raising the achievement of our workforce and unlocking the potential of everybody at work, then we'll be condemned to be a third-rate economic power in the next century. If we don't invest in people, then this country is going to fail. It's going to fail in the competitive marketplace. Organizations that don't embrace the changes that are on top of them already will die. They won't survive. Well, if we don't take into our hearts deeply uh, the importance of, of, of people power, then we're just not going to survive as a uh, as a major nation. We're an island where less than 1% of the world's population lives, and there are lots of hungry countries out there which are now devoted to learning and learning very quickly. If we don't do that, we shall be in deep, deep trouble. We don't want to play in second or third divisions when others are playing in the Premier League. That's no kind of future for a country that's dependent upon its skills, because that's our greatest national resource. The future is power to the people. That's the future. There's no other alternative.